One more winter outside in the life of a bull. Time passes, leaving ice and frost on the bull kingdom. Amoroso has just celebrated his fourth birthday, and he now weighs half a ton. The beautiful image of his species must be well cared for with a conscientious session of collective hygiene. This is a rascadero, a beauty salon for the skin and horns. The bulls shave their horns with the botany of its territory once again. Calador moves, thankfully. Mother Earth deserves it. Our bull is fearsome and is now king. A free four-year-old arrogant bull and one that's very attached to his land. It's been years since they've seen a female, so they manage the best they can. The herd has created unbreakable ties of friendship. They are permanently in heat and masturbate daily. Too many fighting spermatozoids. The voices of the bulls are imposing as they blow, bellow, and roar like dinosaurs about to become extinct. At this point, and with this age, they're dangerous to themselves. Although they warn by digging, fighting is presented as the only solution to get rid of accumulated tension. They seem more like lions thirsty for blood than herbivores. Amoroso has a crazy look in his eyes. He fulfills the established ritual and laterally challenges his opponent. It's a game in a society where the leaders are overthrown or ratified by the herd. A brutal game in which they all participate.
Sometimes they even kill each other, and other times they seriously hurt themselves. A young bull with a desire to fight took Molinero's eye out, the father of Amoroso. The poor bull is not what he once was, remember? Most of the time, the bulls simply measure themselves against their opponent in order to kill time and heat by using their necks. This is how they spend whole days, finding out who is who in the herd. They allow themselves to be seduced by the platonic love of the legendary bull, the only love possible in their captive existence, the Lady of the Night. They all fear Amoroso. No creature dares to disrespect him. Not even the swiftest animals like the hares. If they run into him, they prefer to lie low. Although they say they're short-sighted, bulls are sensitive and note the smallest change in their daily routine. A tuft of jointed grasswort today pays for his temerity, and the hare doesn't stick around to watch. first running and bringing down of our bull, the men come to take away Amoroso. He's a fighting bull that will move from the fields to the ring before sundown. From white to black, from the life ahead of him, to the death that now awaits him. His hoofs step on his birthland for the last time, and his friends, as his mother once did, stumble out of his life. Amoroso is suffering more than ever. This is serious. And today, the riders are working him harder than other times. He's strong and confident. He always has his sharp weapons before him. As the Spanish proverb says, he who gives fair warning is not a traitor. But the man pushes him into an unknown and disheartening land. Fight! 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 
Amoroso is driven towards the sea. It's the first and last time that our bull will see the ocean. He's exhausted, nervous, at his lowest. A disconcerted colossus that's going to partake in an act of extreme submissiveness. The men wait. They want him whole, ready for the fight. He goes over his life, a short existence that has only lasted four years. Amoroso proudly gets up again. Nostalgia is not a good resource right now, given that he's losing his liberty. He needs to fight for it, to butt with his horns if he needs to. Amoroso runs across the beach. The sea boxes him in and the men are unforgiving. Now a long road trip, an unexpected fight against a man, a storm of points of the Picador's horse, self-defense and public death await him. Amoroso, like all the animals of his breed, is no longer considered free fauna, and this morning he will begin to be what he was bred for, without knowing it. He's a fighting bull, and he will have to be killed in the ring. This is the secret life of a fighting bull in the field. The rest of the story, you already know. Amoroso was brought to fight at a first-class ring at a quarter past seven in the evening. He humiliated and was humiliated. He was not the star of a great fight. His ears nor his tail were not cut off after his death as a symbol of great fighting. His meat could not be eaten since he suffered from bovine spongiform encephalopathy, commonly known as mad cow disease. Thus, his body was incinerated. Amoroso was a 21st century bull that lived in the heart of nature until he was brought to the bull ring. Oh, oh, oh. 